Hey guys, Hip.io coming at you with a brand new tutorial today. Today's tutorial is going to be how to set up and configure NZBGET. NZBGET is a news group downloader and it works in conjunction with um, Sonar and Couch Potato. And I'll make two other videos showing how to individually set up and install those as well. But in the meantime, we're going to concentrate on setting up NZBGET and let's so bring up your favorite web browser and click on the link that's in the description below or just type it into your web browser, nzbget.net. After you get to the website, you're going to be clicking on the download get nzbget button. nzbget is available on Linux, Windows, Mac, QNAP, and Synology. So um, just choose whatever flavor you, you want. Uh, I'm going to be choosing Windows um, for this tutorial. I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to be choosing the stable version of 17.1. So if you are running this on Windows or Mac or Linux, just save the file and then after we're just gonna run it. So here we are at the NZB get setup wizard. This is pretty straightforward. Um, most of you probably won't even need to listen to me do this, but uh, I'm gonna make it anyways. Uh, just click next. I agree, N install, and that's it. I'm gonna create a desktop shortcut and I'm also gonna run it right away. Okay, so here we are at the NZB get screen. Um, it's obviously on the local machine, so it's pointing to its um, loopback address here of um, 127.0.0.1.689. Uh, if you're gonna access this NZB get from another server, you'd wanna check what the IP is uh, of this computer. And then after you would just input it, for example, if this computer's IP was 192.168.1.1, you would then put 192.168.1.1 uh, port 6789. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna quickly show you this right here. If you wanna manually add some index files, you would just hit add. You'd place a URL here, or you could just grab the NZB files and manually put them in here. This is where you choose a priority of, um, so if you have a bunch of stuff in your queue, you could choose um, which one is the most important to you. I always leave everything at the basic of normal. Uh, the category here, which we'll get into a bit later because we'll need to set this up, the work with Sonar and, uh, and Couch Potato. Um, so let's say movies. Um, you can add as pause, disable if it's duplicate. Here is also a pretty good feature. So um, in the settings, we're gonna be putting a folder where we can manually drop NZB files into. And instead of selecting files here, we can just hit the scan incoming directory button. It will just go into that folder, pick up the files and load it and just start, start downloading. So we'll just click cancel here. Edit. Okay, so now to the edit button. Um, if you had something in your queue here downloading, you would be able to just put a check mark beside it and click edit. And when that's selected, you'd be able to change some of the, you'd be able to change the category, the priority. And sometimes that's necessary, especially with automation. Uh, let's say you were downloading a television show and you had to manually get the NZB file. Uh, you would go in there, you would edit this, and then you drop it to the specific category. So um, a program like Sonar or Couch Potato would know to pick it up. Merge, I've never really used that feature. Pause is obviously like what it says. Resume, resume the download and delete the download. And here are some other options to move um, files up and down. Um, so, cause it goes down in consecutive order. So if you go from download one to download 10, you can move um, from the bottom to the top. And if you go into history, this will show you the history of all the things that you have downloaded. And here's a quick tidbit. Sometimes if you try loading a an NZB file, sometimes it doesn't load and then something happens and you want to reload this file again so it downloads it and it just you'll see it just pop up in your download section and just disappear well it's because it already thinks it failed so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on these hidden files here this button that says hidden and it will show you all the failed tasks hidden or not just delete them all out of here and restart your download and it should go in through just fine we'll go down to the messages uh, this is just the normal messages, um, alerts, info, warning, errors. So the last one here, which is the most important one, is going to be your settings button. And 
I'm just going to bypass this and we're going to go down to system. And you can see the basic options to reload NZB guest, shut it down. Here's the backup option. After you set this up, you may want to go through here and just back up your settings. Um, you never know, you might have a hard drive failure and you don't want to have to set this all up from scratch again. Uh, here's the restore button, check for updates. Um, here's the web interface. So I usually just leave this all the standard defaults. The paths is going to be a pretty important one. So um, here's going to be your main installation directory. The destination directory here is going to be where once an item is finished downloading, it's going to then throw it into this complete folder. So in this case, it's going to take the main directory here. If you were to browse to uh, C program data and ZB get, you would see a folder there called complete. I usually like to change this up to the folders that I wanted to go into. So in this example, I'm going to change it to these directories. So um, we change this to, let's say, C temp and then after complete. I don't um, ever change this option here. The NCB dir section here would be when you want to dump in NCB files manually, um, you would just put the NCB files in this directory and this is where it would scan for incoming NCB files. So we'll change this one up as well to C temp NCB. The QDIR, I usually leave the same. I like to have a temporary directory. Um, this will be Let's say something's downloading, it will put it in this temporary location. So let's say the, the download does fail partial way through. It's not moved into the completed items folder. So uh, I'll change this to um, C temp. And then I usually label it in progress. So after making the modifications, you just scroll down a bit further and you choose save all changes. As you can see, um, it's saying that the configuration has been saved successfully and we have to reload NZB get in order to have the changes applied. So we'll just reload it here. Okay, so we'll go back into settings again. There's still a bunch of other things we need to do. We're gonna go down to new servers. So you're gonna have to find a news group provider of your choice and fill out this area right here. So here is where you'd put the name of your news group server. So um, I'm just gonna call it your news group server then you'd want to scroll down here to where it says the host and you'd put in your your host um, server address and um, when you do sign up for a service they will provide you with all this information so you I'm just gonna leave that as default because it's just an example you'd put the port number in here and usually if it's a SSL encrypted connection, uh, you'd probably get port 563. And here would be your user ID that they that your Usenet provider provides you with. Your obviously your password. And then you would also put this encryption down here selected yes. Uh, so that way it knows it's using SSL. You would then scroll a bit further down and you'd put the amount of connections that your provider is providing you with. And this varies from um, Usenet provider and the package that you get. So I'll just leave it at four. And the retention time would be the amount of retention time of how many days the files are going to be sitting on the server before they're deleted on the Usenet server. So um, I'm just going to put like an average here, 1,000. Um, your Usenet provider will be able to provide you with that. And if you have multiple other servers, you could just hit the add another server button down here. So let's save all changes. Now we're going to go back to the settings button again after applying our last changes. And we're just going to go down here to security. This here, I'm just going to drop down here. Um, this is if you want to have a logon username and password, you would just put it over here. So um, you could use the default of NZB get. And you could change the password here to whatever you like. So you could change this to one, two, three, pass. And then you would just scroll down here and you would just hit save all changes. Okay, so let's go back to settings once again. And we're gonna go to categories. And this one is a pretty important one. In order for Couch Potato and Sonar to work, you may have to make sure you have the proper um, category names already in here with their destination directories. 
So first we'll start off with movies, and this is by default what Couch Potato uses. You could change it to C temp movies. And you could tell to unpack. Then you would scroll down a bit further down here. So you could add in your new category, which is going to be all the way down here. Hit add another category. And for this one, we're going to change this here to TV. And then we'll add the destination directory again. So this one will be C temp TV. And then we would hit save all changes. Note there is other categories in there. I leave those default ones in there, but if you don't like them, go ahead and delete them. Um, that's totally fine. So in incoming NZBs, uh, you'll see the NZB dir interval. And I usually leave this at the default. This is how often when you manually dump in a file, uh, how often it checks to pick it up. Um, here's the age, how old it should be before it's loaded into the queue. And here is the dupe check. You may want to select this to no. I usually leave it on um, to say yes, but sometimes it is a hassle like I explained in the beginning where you have to sh say, hey, show the hidden um, error messages and then you have to delete stuff. So you could just say no here and then hit save all changes. So that pretty much concludes the setting up of NCB get. Uh, there are other options in there. I don't personally use any of them. If you want to dabble a bit more in there, um, you can. But in order to get um, Sonar and Couch Potato working with NCB get, that's all that's needed. So that concludes um, this video. Um, there's going to be, like I said, two other parts, one for Sonar and one for Couch Potato. So look for those on my channel as well. I'll drop the link on the credits so you could just click on it and proceed to the next one. But hopefully this video was informative. Hopefully I explained everything clearly and concisely for all of you. I hope that you guys like this video. Share it if you can and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.